Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Index the Halls by Rockrat Zero. This is puzzle number 12 out of 25 for our advent theme. Let's go over the rules. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules. That means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have indexing cells. So how do those work? Cells that are shaded red in column X, so this is column 3, Determine where the three goes in the same row, or where that X goes in the same row. So this is in column three, so this tells you where the three goes in the same row. Um, for instance, if a digit is placed in a red cell in column one, place the one for that row in the column equal to the digit. So let's do that, let's do this here. So there's a red cell in column one. If we put, say, a six here, then that means we go to column six in the same row and we put a one there. It's not gonna work, but um, that's our example. And then green is is like the same, but swap row and column. So here we're going to be placing the two in the column. So if this was a one, then we would put a two here because two would go in column one. Um, small colored arrows are added as a guide. Yeah, so these little arrows here are just to remind you which, which way red and green go. And that's it. Those are the rules. There's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. All right, I'm actually curious about this cell that I used as an example. It's placing the one somewhere. So it can't place the one here because then it would be a two and two's already used in the row. So I think we have to, let's see. I think it has to self-reference because if the one were here, this would be a two. If the one were here, this would be a five and that doesn't work. If the one were here, that would clash. So the one goes there and it's self-referenced. Um, anything else of interest here? This is placing a two in the column. Not going to go there. Let, let's actually fill out the rest of this row. This is from three, four, six. So this is telling us that the six, this either self references a six. Oh no, sorry, it can't self reference the six. That's that's not. Um, this is telling us where the four goes. Sorry, this is telling us where the four goes in the column. That's why I was confused. So it either self references the four, or we end up. No, it can't. Why am I getting confused here? This is telling us that three, four, or six. So this is telling us that the three, ah, it's three. I, for some reason, I thought this was row four. Okay, I am back on track. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on row column labels. <laughs> That's going to help a lot. Um, so we are in column six. Sorry, we're in row three. So this places the three in the column. So it's either going to be placed here, here, or here. Well, it's certainly not going to be a six. So there's a three in one of these two is what we're saying. So this is not a three. Um, if this were a three, that's saying we're going to place a six here, and that is fine. Indexing is always confusing, but um, let's see. This is placing a five. That might be interesting because we can't put a five here because this five already exists. So this is going to be from one. It can't be one or two either. Ah, so this is five or six, putting a five in one of these two. In fact, one and two... Okay, so fives, these fives look up. That puts a five up here. Do we want to think about, because this places the five in the row. So it can't be one. If it were two, that would put a five where the two, where this is. That doesn't work. Hold on. No, this is placing the two. This is not placing the five. I'm getting very confused. This is placing the two in the row. So it could be one or two. Self-referencing should always be possible. It can't be one because there's the one in the row. It could be two, which would self-reference. It can't be three because that would put a two in the same column as a two. It could be four, but it can't be five or six because that would put a two where there's not a lot to be a two. Oh, it can't be four because there's a two in the box. So it's a self-referenced two. Um, this places a six in the column. I don't think there's much to say about that. Uh, this places a four in the row. Not much to say about that. It's not a six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, all those work. Um, this places a one in the column. So this could be one, two, or four only. Because the, the one can go in these cells. In fact, we know there's a one in one of these two. Uh, 
there's a two up here. This places the two in the column. Oh, so th this sees this two already. So this is um, this is five, right? This places a three in the row. Ah, that places that five. Sorry, I uh, didn't see that. Uh, these are from three, four, six. So what is this saying? This is placing the six in the row, and it's saying the six is either here, here, or here. <laughs> Um, okay, there's an interest. Yeah, we know one of these is three. The other one is so. Hold on. Oh no. So these are these are opposite. Right. This is not red. Oh gosh. Okay. This is placing the four in the column. There's not much to say about that, is there? It just means this isn't three. This is placing a. Th I wonder if like corner marking. Uh, corner marks are going to be confusing. If I had some way to like mark what each of these places, that could really help me. But I don't know of a good way to do that without confusing myself further. So this place is a three in the row. So it's not six. One, two, three, or five. I can't be two or five though. So this is telling us that there is a three here or here. That's what that's telling us. The, can this still be one, two, four? It looks like it. This is placing a five in this row. Oh, so it sees that, so that's a two. So this can't be two. Ah, that actually places the, sorry, places the two and the three in this box. So this is telling us that there is a one no, this is telling us there's a three in the third spot. That's self-referenced. Okay. So these three are one, four, and six. That's not one. This is also one, four, six. Okay, this is telling us the one is either self-referencing or it's here. In fact, we have an X-wing on ones. Um, do we? In these columns? Don't know if I need to use that, but... Yeah, I guess, I guess what we're saying, okay, this is, this is much easier. So, um, we don't have to use the X-Wing. <laughs> um, one in this column is here or here. Which means it's not here, right? This can't be a two, so the one's not here. So one in this box is in one of these two. So this is not a one. That places this one. Um, what is this placing? This places a six in the column. So this has to be four, five, or six. This places a four in the row. Still don't know much about fours. This places a one. No, this places a four in the column. So this this can't be a two. So this can't be four because that would be two, and there's already a two in the column. So that's six. That's four. That's a one, which is self-reference. That's a six. We have three and four left here. We get the four here. This is a three. Okay, so what did this tell us? This tells us that there the is self-reference three. This is a self-reference six. How many of these are self-referenced? <laughs> All right, that's a three, that's a six, that's a five. This finishes the column with a three. Alright, this finishes the box with a two. We need three, four, five here. We get the three. Oops, we get the three. All right, what's this telling us? This tells us the four is either self-referenced or here, both of which work. We need a three, four, five. Okay, so this can't be a four because the, okay, so first of all, that's a three. And this can't be four because that would be five and that wouldn't work for the indexing. So that's a, that's the self-reference four, that's a five, that's a five. This is not a, four. okay, so this is telling us where the six goes. One of those two. Um, in fact, this is a four, six pair. So this is a one. This is telling us where the four goes. It can't be three, so it has to be a self-reference four. This is now a self-reference six, and that's a six. And we're done with the correct solution. Okay, good. Phew. Okay, yeah, that was some tough scanning and just remembering how the mechanics work. The row column labels helped a lot. Um, 
So yeah, let me know how you did on this one. Uh, definitely a bit tricky just because indexing is always tricky. <laughs> so, but that was neat. Uh, thanks, Rock Rat. We ended up with a ton of self-referenced um, cells in this wreath. Um, but yeah, cool. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.